Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Toy Notch Astrobots Artemis. I believe this is the fifth one released. Uh, there's a lot coming out all at once and I'm super excited because I have been with the, the Astrobots line since I first found out about it and I was not first at the party but man I was happy when I got into it and I'm glad to see where we're coming. Here we have Artemis who follows up after Athenia. Now, the crazy thing is I'm behind on the comic book but it's crazy to see how far we've gotten because apparently she's a hunter killer bot and she kills other types of humans and and bots who are designed to like be on the colony there where they're at and that's part of her story so i'm really curious because i've taken pictures that are not hunter killer type but now i'm going to go back and do that because i'm like this seems like i should be a part of it like it should have some semblance of that so just like with athenia we have that similar style of body but hers is a little bit different now, she does have this cool add-on part that we're going to get to talk about the accessories. But as far as articulation, it is very similar to that of Athenia. Now, articulation-wise, looking up is not an issue as we think about those flight poses. We have the backpack to show that, right? We can look down here. There's a groove made for her to be able to look down. Tilting side to side with the head. It's a little bit on, it's a little bit rough depending on the helmet design. But arm-wise, we have a rotating floating joint right here we have a double joint we have a forearm swivel we have a beautiful bicep swivel as well so there is tons and tons and tons of room for movement right as far as the ab crunch and the ab area we can rotate here at the top freely on a round ball joint we have a midsection articulation as well as a lower set articulation which swivels side to side so as far as articulation goes in the midsection it is probably some of the best stuff to come out since the synthetic human, right? Legs, we can actually get a little bit beyond 90 degrees, right? So even if I bent her all the way back like this, as you can see, we get a little bit higher than that of 90 degrees, but that is because the arm is in the way. Once you, just like with Athenia, and I have to remember to make sure it's saying Athenia because I called her Athena a few times and it's actually based off the goddess Athena of war. You know, everybody forgets Athena was also the god of war as well too, depending on what you're doing it wasn't no she was the god of love but also of war at some point but it all depends on who you're like worshiping or what time but as you can see here we can take off our armor <clears throat> and if i'm wrong about the god of war thing for her someone informed me because I, I may have that wrong but i, I don't want to assume like i'm right i just remember hearing that and it was really cool to know that she was also a goddess of war we can also take off our lower armor as we're seeing here and I feel like they're going to do some sort of add-on to this or part swapping because this is a really cool technique. We also have really good articulation here in the ankle, a toe hinge as well, even though she's on heels. But with that being said, all this articulation leads to you doing really cool stuff. All right, so here we have several flight poses posed up. We can also do rider kicks, which is some of my favorite things to do. Everyone knows I enjoy rider kicks. All right. But even just looking cool and just doing flight poses before we get our backpack on, she is a solid figure. All right. I love it. <clears throat> but when we talk about accessories, this is what really adds on to her. Because I'm going to jump into her main gimmick, which is be what I call the strong hand. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to call it the strong hand. We're going to set her up like this for a little bit. Get her in that nice power pose. My uneven table, making it a little bit harder for me to balance things out like it's always done. But you will get an add-on ability, which I'm bringing to the table right now, for a power claw for her. This is her strong hand. The fingers are each individually articulated. They can make a fist. They can rotate each knuckle. Right? And it's going to plug in on a base here that you just take out the main hand there. You're going to plug in the attachment on top of the forearm that swivels, which is pretty easy. You just match it up with the piece that's supposed to align with. You match the bottom part. And honestly, even if you didn't attach a hand, this looks like a Mega Buster. So you can get your Mega Man on, which is pretty cool. 
And then you put your hunter killer arm on for our big mechanical fist. And now we are rocking. You actually have a cool, like asymmetrical gimmick. And everyone knows I like asymmetrical stuff. Asymmetrical designs are A1 because it definitely puts you in a place where you can actually put like emphasis on stuff. So this part is really cool. <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna talk about her backpack to get her all lined up. We have a backpack with two wings. Uh, as you can see, Buttermilk actually knocked the piece out. Let's actually back this up just a little bit. With our beautiful backpack, we have wings that open. They align going out, and they can rotate as well. And again, he broke this piece off. It's supposed to be glued, so just be careful, guys. But as you can see, it can rotate. That way you have a lot of different flight looks and different flight options. If you feel like yours is being really tough and not moving, just be careful. I do highly advise you heat it up beforehand. You're going to plug this in. Plugs right into the back. I don't know why I made that sound effect. But uh, yeah. We're all in line. We're busted up. We have a beautiful look for the character. This is fantastic. So now not only do you have flight, but you have a hunter killer bot arm and you look really good doing it. Like I said, I didn't realize the Mega Man Buster, so I looked at it now, but yeah. This is where it's at for me. I love this. Now, we're going to talk about her other accessories, but first I need a small break for some water. Like, I'm not going to just take a, a glug of water on top. So I'm going to take a quiet break. Leave off right where I left off, jump right back in. All right, as we continue talking about the accessories, these are mostly hand parts. Now, you will also get a stand. I found out this part is also a stand. So I found this out recently. This part is a stand, which is pretty cool because if you're having trouble having a stand up, this helps. It does immensely, but uh, I'm too dumb to figure that out because <laughs> I really did not know. Then you will get two vertical hinged hands. I mean, sorry, these are on horizontal, but the hands are slanted for item holding hands. So these will be your item holding hands here. You'll also get some open ended action hands, as you can see here. These are more like for clawing, but you have that big power fist. So I do like that they still gave you the option for having regular hands, but also you have the big power fist. We have our cute peace sign hands. I feel like this is a big plus. I like the bonus of this. You get open flight hands or salute hands, depending on what you want to do. You have some open, like semi-relaxed hands. And these are your obvious relaxed hands. These ones are definitive relaxed, in my opinion. And as you saw, our closed fish, which we swapped out earlier. But yeah, that rounds up the accessory parts. But again, I really like the way she looks. I'm going to compare it to other bots right now. So let's get ready to jump into that. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now we're gonna jump to the size comparisons. I think this is where it'll get fun, like really, really fun, because I'm gonna mix in some bot stuff with some humans, mix and match, have some fun right there. Uh, first off, I wanna compare Athenia, because they technically share a mold, and uh, I really like these bots. I really, really like them. Mine's has a slight issue here, and that's because it became unglued, and uh, that's my own fault for trying to like explore the figures and uh but yeah as you can see they share a mold but not complete reuse as they get different swapping parts and this is why i came up with the idea of the armor parting because i really feel like you can swap around armor and really have some fun with that next up we're gonna do apollo and vulcan i was gonna throw in the other bot there but i was like you know what those share the same mold so i'm not gonna do that so here is apollo right and then here we have vulcan He's a big boy, so you'll be able to see. I'm going to actually hold him up because he's a little back heavy right now on my uneven table. <laughs> actually, let me try to fix that ankle so we can do that, right? As you can see, he put down a considerable amount of weight because he's back heavy. But yeah, look at that. Look at the size comparison. I like that they're all different sizes. I know a lot of people want their stuff to all be the same. Nah, I like different sizes. Give me something to like work with. No one here is the same size like ever. There's a dude that's like 5'3", and there's another dude that's like 5'3", and 7 eighths, And it shows. <laughs> here we are with the Nacelle Toys bot. 
I took out the suction cups, but you can see how he, this guy places up with her, right? Then what's really cool is I chose to use some droids from Star Wars. I feel like they place really well within this timeline and they show a little bit of uh, robot diversity, right? So here we are with a B1 battle droid, right? Neck not extended, like, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, that's where he places out. Here we are with a K2 droid. That's a big boy. Next up, we have a Dark Trooper. So again, all of these guys kind of feel like they work at different type of droids and placement. And I like the idea of that. Clusterfucks on IG, if you, if you see this, just know that I thought of you when I think of the Astrobot stuff. Because you do a phenomenal job at just showing off the different kind of things you can make and paint super excited for that right and then last but not least like i mentioned before we have some synthetic human i have to find my synthetic lady i had her somewhere but uh apparently she fell and that's probably my own fault for not noticing sooner <laughs> so yeah here we are with synthetic three who's leaning back just a little bit let's actually fix that you can see they scale up pretty well here too right now we're going to jump into some humans and this is where it gets a little a little different right my main man sh figure arts common rider kuga is up first as we do uh, some smaller guys. Then we have an SH Figarts Panda Geats because I did a, a SHF upgrade head on that. I'm still in the middle of modding that, by the way. All right? Take these guys away. Next up, you have a G.I. Joe classified grunt. And then we also have a. Wait, where did he go? Oh, we have a Valiverse. So here we are with that. So we can see how our humans stack up to these bots. Next up, we will do a Spiro Toys. A walk, Animal Wars of the Kingdom, just in case, you know, you want to mix and match your stuff. And for those of you guys that like Marvel Legends, I chose an older body multiple man. Uh, I think that about rounds out everything I have here at this time. Oh, you know what? Just in case you guys do Moffek stuff, here is a Nightwing, right? And here is an Ichigo. I'm trying to make all the homies make as many guest appearances as possible. Get those guest appearance credits, baby. So here we are with Ichigo. Always going to wave harder to people. So guys, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for enjoying. Shout out to Toy Notch and Astrobots for working with me on this. Uh, they really enjoy my stuff, so they want me to make sure I talk about it, which I'm super excited to do anyway. So as always, please, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.